Hello, my name is Ronnie Humphrey with Pro Action Fluids out of Shreveport, Louisiana. You know, one of the common mistakes made by a lot of drillers is guessing at what type of soil conditions they're going to be in before they start their bore. Well, I'm going to show you a real simple test that will help you identify the type of soil that you're going to be in. And it, you can do it with stuff that you have in your truck on your job site every day. So it's no, no special equipment or no special tools required. All you need is your soil sample. Today we have some sandy clay. You need some type of bag, a marker, a magic marker, two containers. You can even use water containers if you have to. We're gonna use these little bottles today because there's a little bit larger uh, neck on them to get the material in. But you're gonna need some regular bottle of water and a hammer. So in order to do the test, and you see, by the way, you see I have these marked. These are equally marked, so we can put the same amount of soil and the same amount of water in, in, the, in the, each bottle when they get ready to do the test. But you simply take your bag, put your soil sample in there, doesn't take much, and we'll get your hammer. Let's see if we can get over and do this. And you'll pulverize the material. Get it as fine as you can. And then once you get it all pulverized, you want to combine it with your water. Now, in order to save a little time here, what I've done is I've already got some ready to go here. You can see here it's been pulverized with our hammer. So I'm going to put equal amount of soil in here. I'm going to go up to about the 50 mark. All right. I'm going to do the same thing with my water. All right. So we have an equal amount of our soil sample and an equal amount of water. And now we're simply going to combine the two. and get our top on there and we're going to shake it and get it this test won't take you but just a just about five minutes it'll start settling out but uh just once you get it agitated real well and you see that everything is mixed in with the water you just let it sit now again in order to save time i've got one that we've already done here and as you can see, it's a settle. If I turn this sideways, if I turn this sideways, you can see where it packs off right there, right on about the 30% mark there. So you see that's not running down. Your clay's always going to be at the top. Your silt's going to be at the bottom, at the middle, and your sand's going to be on the bottom. Well, as you can see here, we're basically we are right at 30% of a sand content with this clay. So this is a good example of how sometimes the material that you think is really red clay can actually have a lot of sand content in it. So then you want to get something with a, a stronger, uh, stronger carrying capacity and a more gel strength, if you will, to be able to get the cuttings out. So you're kind of right on that borderline. So with Pro Action Fluids, 30% is the magic number. If you're Below 30%, you can run in, in a clay type material like this. You want to run uh, just pro drill and pro dime. And uh, obviously, if it's a swelling clay, you would not want to run your clay lock as well. But your normal mix would be a pro drill and pro dime. But when you start getting around that 30%, which we're close with this sample here, then you want to look at something with more gel strength, like a geo sweep, to be able to try to uh, get your cuttings out. But I hope this helps you a little bit to help you identify what type of soil you're in. Uh, it's a real easy test. Like I said, real simple to do. You can do it in five minutes, and it helps you uh, make sure you don't get any surprises, unwanted surprises in your board. If you have any questions, visit us our website at www.proactionfluids.com, and we have uh, lots of information there. Also, make sure you download our app, and you can uh, see where to contact all of our reps from the app. And uh, reach out to us if you have any questions, and we'll be glad to help you. Thank you, and have a safe day.